Hey guys, absolutely no idea what number this video is. <laughs> I don't, it's been a little bit since I made one. Um, just got out of uh, City of Hope. I'm in uh, Irvine Friday afternoon and I got mask face. Um, oh man, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, for those of you who are uh, new to the channel, I have a super pubic catheter. That's kind of how this whole thing got started for me is uh, I couldn't pee and couldn't uh, drain my bladder. So I went in to get that checked and it turned out I had an enlarged prostate. The enlarged prostate led to, led to, um, to uh, prostate cancer, my tag up. And um, so I have a tube that goes from my abdomen and I pee in it. I just, I just shot water all over myself. Mm. Ah, so the catheter has been in there for three and a half years and I have tried to uh, deal with it best I can. And I, you know, I've got as good points and bad points. Not many good points, but um, at any rate, my urologist had mentioned a while back that, hey, there's a couple new procedures that they might be able to try on you to uh, open your urethra back up and allow you to urinate through your penis. I'm like, yes! So they gave me a referral and I just now walked out of my consultation with the doctor who would be doing the procedure. So we uh, discussed my medical history all the way back to the beginning, um, went through what the expectations would be, which are kind of unknown at this point. What they're gonna, we're gonna do another, um, CT scan with contrast and what they'll do is this one's going to take uh, more levels like if you get to see your your CT scan um, It's like slices of your body. So what they're going to do is they're going to give me the CT scan with the contrast in there and It's like a step up from a normal one. So there's more slices So they'd be able to get a little better look at what's going on. So what they're focusing on is my uh, Urethra where it goes through my prostate and what they want to do is it's it's da -da -da -da, embolism. That's the one word that I hung on to was embolism. So what they'll do is they'll go in through my uh, femoral artery um, by my hip and they'll put a catheter in there and then they'll push that up towards almost into my prostate and then I'll put a second catheter through the first catheter and that will allow them to take the medication and push it into the prostate. And so what they'll do is they'll look for the vessels that are in there um, that are expanded and causing the urethra to be crushed and put in these little, uh, oh, what do you call them, granules? I guess granules. So they're bigger, 10 times the size of a red blood cell. So what they'll do is they'll float into there and then they'll float to where the blood would go in to the prostate and they'll block it. So they're gonna dam it up so that the blood can't get in there. And hopefully by it not getting blood, it will shrink. Now, when I first got diagnosed with prostate cancer, my uh, prostate should have been the size of a walnut. Mine was the size of an orange. Well, since I had radiation, uh, he is saying now it's more the size of a golf ball. So it has already shrunk a bit and I am able to urinate uh, Out of my penis. I just can't drain my bladder. I have a real weak weak stream a tiny stream And but I can do it where before I couldn't do it so The whole idea is block the blood to the prostate then it takes a couple of weeks to see if we started to make a difference um, and if that's the case then I'll be able to have a better stream and I'll be able to drain my bladder and hopefully get rid of the super pubic catheter that I have now and I've had for three and a half years. So I'm pretty damn excited about this. They're gonna uh, schedule me for the CT enhanced uh, scan and then I'll go back and sit down with the doctor again and we'll go over the results of the scan and then he says, you know, if you have more questions, 
we can talk about that. So uh, they'll put me out for it. Um, you're asleep while they do it. Uh, and then he said, it takes a couple hours for the surgery, a couple hours for recovery, and they watch you just to make sure for bleeding at the femoral site and that kind of thing. Um, so, I, pretty neat. So if you guys wouldn't mind, maybe some prayers, positive energy, some good juju, um, you know, positive thoughts to that, number one, that I can qualify for this, that, you know, everything lines up and he thinks we can make a difference. If we can, uh, then, you know, prayers for success. So I will keep you guys updated. I'll let you know uh, when I'm going to go in for the CT scan. Um, everything should be good. Uh, living my best life right now, folks. I had my daughter and my granddaughter down for a week for Thanksgiving. Um, I was unfortunately sick on Thanksgiving, so I didn't attend with my family. Uh, with my immune system being what it is, uh, didn't want to take a chance on getting something from anybody else. Uh, so I've still not had my turkey. <laughs> I can go for some turkey. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, it's, I'm getting stuff done. I put my Christmas lights up yesterday by myself, you know, strung them all out, got the ladder out, went up on the roof, uh, got everything put up. Uh, I, so I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing well. Knock on wood. Um, the immunotherapy seems to be working extremely well. So, I am grateful every day. I am so grateful to all of you that follow this channel. Uh, for those of you who give me the thumbs up, for those who comment, ask questions, um, you know, just being there watching, I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate you guys. And I do thank the Lord every day that you're there. And I thank Him for my, my surfing buddies that support me and for my family and for people that I know from the car club community. Um, you know, neighbors, I, I'm so beyond blessed um, with all the people that are supporting me and all the positive energy that you guys are putting out into the world. Um, so thank you for all of that. I, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend, and uh, I will talk to you on the next video. Love you.